Okay, so I am going to try to get started on making my little ingots for key casting. So I bought this cast iron skillet at Walmart for like five bucks. So I'll get this turned on. Probably a medium heat. I'm just gonna let it kind of warm up. I'm sorry for doing this all in hand, but I don't have a tripod and I don't trust like setting my phone down around while I have molten metal starting to happen. Okay. And then, I get this out of the bag here. This is the Fields Metal that I bought on eBay. It's actually funny because the guy who molded it obviously molded it so there's like Lego. It actually has the reverse Lego logo in there. And then this, let me give me a second here, set some light on. There we go. Ooh, then there was light. So there's the ingot. This is heating up. And then in Deviant's video, uh, he show, he didn't show this part. He already had the ingots. But on the tool uh, Slack channel, someone asked the same question. He said this is what he uses to make his small little squares. So the goal here, or the plan here I should say, is to melt this metal in this pan. <laughs> and then hopefully while holding my cell phone, not burn myself and pour this metal into here. Now I haven't given any thought about how to stir this yet, but I think the plan here is, is I have uh, some wooden skewers here. And maybe I'll just use one of these. Seems like the uh, best option because I can throw the skewer away when it's done. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to melt this. It should be a very low melting point. But <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. I probably, you know what? I might want to get a, like a uh, oven mitt as well. Also, I apologize if you hear sounds in the background because my dishwasher is running. So, now it's just a waiting game. And instead of making you all sit here and wait, I will just stop the video and come back once this metal starts melting. Okay. Okay. Looks like the metal's starting to melt. Um, I put some wax paper down here just so in case I miss this, that uh, it won't be all over the top of my stove top. So yeah, this metal's really starting to melt now. It's only been on for a little bit. Let's see how hot this handle is. Oh yeah, the handle should be okay. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, that's really melted. It's really going here. I don't want to get it too hot. I just want to make it hot enough just to melt. So I'm just trying to see if there's uh, anything not liquid in there. I would say that's all pretty liquidy. I don't have to pan heat up a little bit though because I don't want to cool it off and as I'm pouring. It might just be that nice hot spot. Anyways, that looks might be about right. I'm gonna pour a little. I might have to do this in multiple times, so here we go. Put it back on the heater. See what we can do here. See if I can make this remelt, but that's what we got so far here. Oh, it's still kind of liquidy. That's nice. Gives me a second to kind of spread it out a little bit. Hopefully I can remelt most of this out of this pan. So anyways, I'm not going to record this whole thing because I'm probably going to need both hands. But we will uh, come back after these have had time to cool. Okay, so I thought this was important to show. <laughs> this is all stuck in the bottom of this pan. So I'm thinking what I might have to do is get like a top heat source, like a torch to get that all out. But I'm not doing that tonight. I did try scraping it with a can, but yeah, that didn't work. So this is my yield. So now my plan is to let this cool, get the little bits out, oops, and then use my little pour that I bought specifically for doing the key molds. Um, putting those little bits back in that to melt them down to try to make like where these half filled ones right there, try to get them fully filled. And then 
these right here should be pretty close to oh that's still liquid that's still liquid these are all still liquid for the most part no oh, that one's starting to harden up so this uh obviously takes a little longer to cool than uh wood's metal so there's a few little chunks down in here that are completely cooled off like that one right there but these uh these bigger pools that one's hardened that one's mostly hardened but like this one is still completely liquid that one's hard on that side and liquid on that side so anyways uh i will check back in once these have had full time to cool okay so i made all my blocks about how many those two however many are in here quite a few and then the itty bitty one left and then whatever the remnants is from that um so now i'm going to put some clay in I didn't roll it out like deviant. I wanted to see if I could just do this by hand. I'm not overly concerned with it working that well. So now I need to put a little uh, talcum powder on it. Talcum powder on, now I'm trying to put the key in. Let's see how this goes. That is the key, it's just a quick set, a KW1 that I'm gonna try to replicate. I have the uh, key in the mold and I stepped on it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to take it apart. Hopefully uh, this is all compressed well enough. Okay, and that's what I ended up with. Looks decently clean, I guess. We'll see. Put it together here and put it in the stand, which is right there. And then I'm gonna try to pour. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now I just gotta let it cool. Hopefully this works. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're gonna see if that's long enough. This metal definitely cools slower than uh, Wood's metal does, so I'm gonna try to pry this open now. Okay. And there we have it. This is the key I got made. Looks like there might be a little bit of bump right there, which I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. But we're going to try her out here. So here's the lock. Just need a quick set. I'm going to try to do this through the camera. God knows we can do it with one hand. So here's the original key. Sorry for the crappy camera like this. And here is the th molded key. Let's see if it fits. It fits. Does it spin? Oh my god, it spins perfectly. That worked perfect. That is awesome. Big thank you to Deviant for showing this. I'll be giving a presentation to this my local uh, tech meetup group. So, very cool. Awesome. Thanks to everyone who helped me find all the materials and point me in the right direction.